cool design. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. My name is Justin. Today, um, let me start off with this. I shot a couple videos back before Christmas time or before Christmas and after Christmas for this channel and one of them was a, a gaming table like with a hidden screen down in it and um, the other one was uh, some a minimalist wallet and though they were fun and they were things that I would do anyway I think I'm going to kind of narrow this channel down to really what what I would mostly be doing and that's going to be working on this truck and building bikes so today I'm gonna to build a bike that I've been wanting to do for a long time it's a reverse trike and the front wheels will um, will will have suspension so that they can travel up and down independently um, so it's all experimental we'll see if, what we can do but let me show you what we're starting with so the first thing I grabbed was an old Roadmaster USA made 24 inch I guess mountain bike frame then for a donor I grabbed this next power climber that somebody gave me and that's gonna donate the back wheel rear gears but just random parts and some front end parts but for the front end I'll be using these forks these forks came off of cheap department store bikes so one of these forks is going to be installed normal, but I'm going to cut off the fork legs and weld weld a piece of pipe coming straight down and that will that will be the steer tube. And then it will have a fork on either side of this with a 20 inch wheel and tire. And now I'm going to show you as we go how I'm going to make them suspended. So the first thing I need to do is get the, the steer tube and the new front fork welded up so that I have a way to attach the other forks to it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, the first problem I ran into was that the, the steer tube for this fork just barely stuck up above the race. And I could get, I could get the top race um, threaded in but I couldn't put a, uh, a washer, a lock washer or nut in here. So what I did was I took my cutoff wheel and I cut just a sliver off of the top of the head tube and then put the, put the cup back down in and now I've got plenty of thread to work with up here. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and I'm gonna cut these fork legs off so I can then prepare this surface to weld my my new I don't know what to call it steer tube coming out of the bottom I have slightly prepared this steer tube and what I've done is I've found a skinnier piece of steel off of a bike frame that will fit in between here and so I can put some welds in these brake holes like rosettes and then I've drilled some more holes in here to do the same thing that way there's a little bit more support when I put it together than a wrap a weld around here I'm gonna try my best to keep it straight but no promises. So I'm going to clean up this because it's galvanized. I'm going to grind off, ground off the coating before I weld it, and then I'm going to. Weld. As you can see my welds are never pretty but 
they're mostly strong so once this cools down I'm gonna assemble it assemble this part I'm leaving the pole long for now until I know how long I need it so the next thing you'll see is this on the bike frame and we'll be getting ready to put the double forks on it okay I have installed the I've in, installed this steer tube and I've got two 20 inch forks 20 inch wheels now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these on either side of that steer tube with and I haven't figured out how much space yet and then I'm gonna use pieces of a piece of bar in between them so that they can go straight up or down pivoting on that center I've got some I've got some bed frame steel here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the pieces one up and one down and like I said I'm not sure how long yet I'm going to drill three holes one that will go into the side of one fork one to the other and then one in the middle and that will be our pivot one up one down one on the front one on the back so there's going to be four of these all together I'm sure there's going to be play I'm not too concerned about it um, I want to put nylon washers in it I don't think I have any nylon washers for that right now this is going to be a proof of concept we're going to make it work and if it works good and I want to improve it I will but so right now I need to cut these drill my holes so I need I need four pieces and the reason I'm using angle instead of flat is because it gives it more strength with with this with this bend in the angle right here it's going to keep it from wanting to bend up and down or twist and so this is actually stronger it's not going to look as pretty as just flat steel wood but I just don't have any thick enough that I would I would feel comfortable with it not bending so let me get these cut up okay it's cold out here I have taken the angle iron and I've drilled three holes in it I've taken each fork and I've drilled two holes in the sides of the fork now that I've drilled the holes in the fork and the holes in these swivel brackets I've got to attach the two together then I can line up each one of these holes with the hole on the steer tube of the bike drill those and assemble it. So I'm going to assemble the the fork joiners right now. yet but now I'm going to install this weird fork assembly as you can see it's gonna be very very floppy with some washers so I'm gonna to need to put washers on the outside and the inside and of course I didn't buy enough washers so let's just put it on just to see how it looks right now. Here's the idea. Up and down. Left and right. I'm thinking that when you lean the bike, you know, if I was leaning it to go to the left, this, they'll lean with it. The problem right now is how floppy it is. And I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. And I've been thinking about, I thought about putting mountain bike shocks mounted from here to here on each one. But the problem is those shocks, like on the cheap mountain bikes, they don't have um, they don't extend, they just compress. So if I put them right here, 
when this one tried to compress, this one wouldn't extend. So I'm thinking more of just like a trampoline spring hooked from here to here just to hold a little bit of tension on it because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to flop over. Interesting. I'm going to see if I can find some washers and finish getting this back together and then assemble the rest of the bike and see what we've made. All right, guys, check this out. This is actually pretty cool. So I've got it. Um, I found some more washers, but then what I did was I used, I used some, um, I would say they're nylon, but they're probably just plastic washers and, um, drilled those out to fit so I can have, and I snugged it up a little bit. It still moves freely, but it's not as floppy. So I'm pretty excited to try this. Bonk. So I'm going to hurry up and throw on rear wheel seat handlebars and and get this thing rolling before we run out of sunlight so here goes Okay, as you just saw, I assembled it. I had some problems with the stem. I didn't realize how how narrow a stem it took. And then I had to mix and match some bolts for the top. I grabbed a single front. I put the derailleur on, but I've not hooked up the gears. There's no brakes. That saddle looks uncomfortable. Oh, this tire needs air. But I'm gonna air up this tire, put it down, and you're gonna watch the first attempt to ride this weird bike. And here it is. So there's some alignment problems. It's got some serious toe in in the front. No brakes, no gears, no reflectors. and I'm gonna try to give it a ride. Looks pretty cool.
It definitely feels weird, but it works, except for that that right side wheel. There's something wrong with the bearings or something. And when I lean, it wants to make that noise and grab. Now if I could get that smoothed out. Oh, I know what it is doing. That's from the toe in. So if I straighten out that alignment, it'll stop pulling like that. I couldn't get to sleep last night because I was thinking about this and I thought I just need to go ahead and make it. I really don't need any springs on the front to push it back. It doesn't want to tilt by itself. Try off-road. That works. So this reverse articulating trike has no benefit over a bicycle whatsoever but the cool thing is it has a huge benefit over regular trikes because on a regular trike if you lean too far you go up on two wheels I could not get this when I was riding it to go up on two wheels because of the articulation in the front as you can see it's sitting with one wheel a few inches higher than the other one Check this out. Definitely very simple and cool design. So there it is, the reverse articulating trike that no one asked for. Now, what should I do with it? Should I paint it? Should I add something to it? Should I throw it in the trash? Should I give it to one of you? It's a pretty cool bike. I could see putting a basket on front or but I don't know why. <laughs> you could do that with any bike. But I think I need to cut off the Cut off the steer tubes from the extra forks. Straighten that alignment out so that both wheels are pointed the same way they're, like I said, they're towed in, they're pointing together. Pretty cool. So this was just a quick build. And now at least that idea is out of my head. And I got a pretty cool bike out of it. Don't know if I'll be painting this, do anything with it. Like I said, I'd like your suggestions for what to do with it. But um, again, if you've liked what you've seen, I'd, I'd love to see your comments. Give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, subscribe would be awesome because I'm going to keep building bikes. I'm going to work on my truck some. But that's kind of what I'm limiting this channel to now. I'm also thinking about a name change. You know, I have an Instagram account for my truck and stuff, and it's called Dented Fender Garage. And that's more like what I'm doing now is Dented Fender Garage. Um, this building bikes working on my truck so don't be so su surprised if you see this channel name change to Dented Fender Garage but thanks for watching and um, leave me some comments below and I'll get back to you all right take care